Welcome to lesson 38, finding slope and a y-intercept from a table. So why are we looking for those two and not the x-intercept? Well, it connects to the formula we've used a lot of times. When we've talked about the equation of a line on a graph, we've used the equation y equals mx plus b. That's been the form. Um, and we recognize the y and the x, Well, what happens with the m and the b? Well, the b is our y-coordinate in the y-intercept. Okay, so it's that point when x is 0, we figure out what is the y. And our m is a slope, that measure of the steepness of a line that we talked about in our last lesson. So those two parts of an equation are really important. So in this lesson, we're going to figure out how to find the slope and the y-intercept from a table. And we're going to connect it back to graphs a little bit later into this unit. So here are goals for this lesson to be able to identify the x-intercept from the table, to be able to calculate the slope using values from the table, and to express the table as an equation or a function. So in that ax plus b equals c form, or in f of x is equal to ax plus b. In both cases, we're figuring out the coefficient, what is the slope, and what is the intercept. All right, so let's build on what we talked about yesterday or in the last lesson you watched. Starting off with y-intercepts, we already know this is the y-coordinate where the point on the graph intersects with the x-axis. So when x is zero, what is the y? That's what we're looking for in this case. So this coordinate, what is the y gonna be? Okay, and we also talked about slope as the measure of steepness. So here, although the language is a little bit different, is exactly what we talked about yesterday. The slope of the line is the ratio of the difference in y to the difference in x between any two points on the line, okay? So think about what we talked about yesterday. We said that slope was the same as rise over run or change in y over change in x. This just says the exact same thing, that we can take any two points on the table, and once we have those two points, those coordinates, we can calculate the change in y over the change of x using this formula right over here. Okay, so let me box it. So slope is equal to the change in y, or you take one y point and subtract the second one. So y2 minus y1 and then x2 minus x1. So change in y over change in x. And that is gonna give you slope. So let's practice out in this first model. Let's find the x-intercept. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look for my coordinate pairs when x is equal to zero. So that's all I'm looking for. I'm looking at my chart. Do I see a point when x equals zero? And I do. So this is my x-intercept, zero, one. So now let's look for our slope. How do we find that? Well, again, I'm gonna just pick two points. I'm gonna choose this one, so this is gonna be point one, and I'll choose this one over here as two, okay? So this is going to be my x1, here's my x2, this is my y1, and this is my y2. So now that I have that, all I do, I have to put this on the page so I can see it. Please don't try to just do it in your head, I know you can, but we wanna make sure we can demonstrate and put evidence on the page that we know how to do this. So I start by writing the formula, m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and then just substitute. So y2 is three, three minus one, and one minus zero. Okay, 
simplify that a little bit more and we get three minus one is two, two over one. So that's our slope, m is equal to two. All right, so now that I have this information, my y-intercept and my slope, how do I express this as an equation? Here's my equation structure, y equals mx plus b. So we know what our slope is equal to. Our slope is two, so two x. And what is the b? The b, look at your x-intercept. Here's your b, that one. And there's my equation, two x plus one. So hit pause and jot this down. Awesome, and that's what we're gonna continue to practice today when we're gonna look at a table and identify the y-intercept and calculate the slope. Let's put this into practice. We'll start with this example on the table. Starting with the x, uh, our y-intercept, look on your chart. Do you recognize where the x is equal to zero on your chart? And you should be able to see it right here. So this is your intercept. 0, 7. So our B is equal to 7. And we're going to talk a second at the very end of this video. What if you don't see an, a Y intercept on our table? What can we do? I'll get to that at the end. Let's do slope. So again, we're writing our formula. M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Just pick two points. So I'm going to decide this is point 1 and this is point 2. Okay, and again, at this point, you don't have to write it down, but you know this is x1 and y1, here's x2, and here's y2. All right, so let's substitute those values. So for y, we have 5 minus 3, and for x, we have negative 1 minus, and again, I'm going to put this in parentheses, negative 2. So negative 1 minus negative 2. Let's simplify this. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. And for our bottom part, we do have to distribute. So I can rewrite this as negative 1 plus 2. Negative 1 plus 2 gives us a positive 1. So our slope, m, is equal to 2. All right, now that we have that, I can express this as an equation y is equal to, what's our m? Our m is 2, 2x plus 7. There's our equation. So hit pause and jot this down into your notes. All right, so let's say our table didn't have, I want to address this hot spot. There was no intercept there and you don't see it. How could you figure it out? We already know that our slope is equal to 2. So how could we figure out the intercept if you don't see it on the table? This is, there's a way to do this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about our equation. Y equals mx plus b. And all I'm gonna do is we're going to choose a point, any point from the table. Let's say I decide on these two points. And I'm gonna substitute those points in as well as m into the equation. So y is equal to three is equal to two times negative two plus b. Now I just have to solve for b. Three is equal to negative four plus b. Add four to both sides. Seven, there you go, b is equal to seven. So that means the intercept is zero, seven. And that's all you would do. Okay, so if you have an actual table and you don't see an intercept, that is the pathway you can take. You just choose any point on the line as long as you have the slope and you're gonna substitute for the values of y, m, and x and solve for b. That's it for today's lesson, Math Marvel. Uh, make sure that you're getting feedback on being able to identify the, the y-intercept from a table, or if it's not on the table, being able to use the points on the table to calculate the intercept, calculating the slope, and expressing the table as a function or an equation. 
I will see you in the next lesson. Be well. Thank you.